Number 58. Assuming the angular resolution found for the Hubble telescope in this example, what is the smallest detail that could be observed on the moon? So there's a lot of uh, information that we need to either go searching for um, or and in the book, but then also possibly throughout the book or either online. So um, the particular value that they're referring to in this example, the angular resolution is the angle here. All right. That if I'm drawing over here, the angle right here in between or that references the angle between these two points for the smallest detail that can possibly be observed for something that is on the moon. Okay, so the moon is over here, Hubble telescope is here, and the Hubble telescope is somewhere above the surface of the Earth. This particular angle here is, as uh, explained in that example, 2.8 to, uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 7th radians. Okay, radians. Um, all right, so now... Um, what we need to do is somehow figure out the smallest detail. In other words, they're trying to figure out, you know, what's the, what's the, you know, diameter, all right? Or what's the distance between these two points, the smallest possible resolution, right, that we can see or the smallest object. So uh, we can do this, by the way, in a couple of ways now. Um, <clears throat> you can use this formula. You can use the arc length formula that the angle multiplied then by the radius will equal the arc length, L. Okay, now if you use that, right, we're assuming that, the, oh, and by the way, where did this number come from? You can look that up. It's the distance between the Hubble telescope and the moon. Okay, that we need to know. So I'm assuming that these two legs of this little triangle here uh, are the same. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna find this arc length. All right, now this is curved. But you're going to see that since this is so small, it ain't, it, it ain't making a difference if this is going to be curved or straight. Watch. Ready? Let's calculate the curved value. So, and that's what I'm doing here. So this is 2.8. By the way, the theta needs to be in radians here to do this calculation. So leave it in radians. Multiply by the radius of 2 point, excuse me, or that distance between the two objects, 3.834 times 10 to the 8 is equal to L. Take out the calculator, plug it in. So 2.8 times 10 to the minus seventh, multiplied by then 3.834 times 10 to the eighth. And we get a value of about 107. 107, all right, three sig figs, I guess. 107, and this is then uh, meters, okay? That's, the, that's how big, that's the arc length here between these two points of that object. So this is the smallest possible, uh, size of the object, right? Just pretend you had an object that's 107 meters you know, wide. Um, pretend it's a circle, so that's the diameter. And that's what you can see, right? That's the smallest detail on the moon. Now, pretend that instead of looking at this as like a, a arc length, let's find the linear length. Then what we have to do is we have to make an assumption here. We have to assume that this angle in here is a right angle, okay, to make our life easy. Now, if that's a right angle, all right, and you're talking about this angle in here that you know. I'm trying to find the opposite side of that angle, and I know the adjacent side, right? Because this is technically the hypotenuse on that side. Okay, so what would we use? We would use tangent. Tan of the angle is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. The opposite side is what we're looking for, so just simply cross multiply these terms, right? And this is your now new formula. All right, then all you got to do is plug it in. So watch, the opposite side is what we're looking for in black there, right, is gonna be equal to that adjacent side, 3.834 times 10 to the eight, times the tangent, all right, times the tangent of that angle of 2.80 times 10 to the minus seventh. Please make sure your calculator is in radian mode. Radians, all right. Um, so this is going to be uh, 3.834 times 10 to the eighth multiplied then by tangent of 2.8 times 10 to the minus seventh. And what do you get? OMG. Wait a minute, is that the exact same answer? Ha! Huh. Go figure that out, right? Go figure that. So, that's it, okay? So it doesn't matter which way you do it. The other problem I did in 57, I chose to do it one way. So hopefully those who watch 57 also were able to watch 58. Um, so, yeah. 
you can do it either way, all right? Uh, when that angle is really small. If the angle gets bigger, then it, you, these approximations start to move further and further away from one another. And that should kind of make sense, right? Because as this, as this thing moves away, let's just say, right? Like this now or something, right? Let's say it goes to there, right? There's now a larger difference between this straight length, this straight length over here, and then I'm probably, I'm going to go off the page, but the curved length between those two. So, you know, okay. Guys, thanks for tuning. I appreciate it. I will see you in the next problem. If this helped, please help us out by subscribing. We really appreciate it. If you can, it helps us out tremendously. Check out some more of our problems. we got a whole bunch of other subjects out there, pre-calculus chemistry, and there's more coming. That's general chemistry, that is, but organic chemistry and biochemistry and stuff. So, you know, all types of goodies. Goodies. Goody gumdrops. I will see you soon. Bye.